What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and Unfiltered. What's happening, peeps? All right, first of the blocks. Why did you friend zone live? She's so pretty. Yes, she is pretty. Um, I guess the reason I friend zoned her was I didn't go into this experience with the intentions of meeting somebody. So the last thing I wanted to do was like tell her what she wanted to hear, lead her on, and then if somebody walks into the villa, that's a little bit of me, I would end up just dropping and live like a sack of potatoes. And then all of a sudden I've lost such a nice person as a friend. So it's just not worth it for me. So I just laid the law down nice and early to cover my ass. But I love her a bit and we're good friends. All right, would you go on Love Island for a third time? This is a good question, this one. Um, I mean, I've done two already, and I haven't had that much success in finding proper, proper love. So I guess there's no really point in doing another one. Um, and it does make it harder to date people in the real world when you come out, because life's so hectic. So I think I'll do like TV again, but I'll probably just lay off the, uh, like the dating sort of reality shows. Um, <laughs> of course I will do it again. What do you mean? It's the best experience ever. I'll run it up for that trick. No issues. Sign me up, baby. <laughs> I want to tell you that everyone needs to have a column as a friend in life. I strongly, strongly disagree. Okay? Ask my friends that and they will tell you straight off the rip that I am literally a walking liability. That's why I haven't got any friends. What's your favorite meal on Love Island that you made? This is fitting because I'm actually currently eating now. Um, I actually can't cook. I am the worst cook, but it's a Love Island tradition that everyone just hammers cheese toasties and Jack was just rustling up cheese toasties most nights for me um, because yeah, I can't cook. Um, this is my oats for an example. These are, my, these are supposed to be oats, yeah? Look at the state of them. It's like fucking cement. Nightmare. <coughs> What was your most embarrassing moment? Okay, I don't think this one was actually aired, but basically we had a text message saying that we need to go to the fire pit because it's going to be dumped in. And I was like, fuck, this could be my last night in Love Island. And I was like, fuck, and I ran to the fire pit and it was wet. So I, did, I tried to do a cartwheel and I've never done a cartwheel before. And I slipped and I went head over tit. I bent my wrist back, hence why I was in like bandages and like slings and stuff. Because yeah, I really did fuck my wrist up by doing a stupid cartwheel. And it was pointless because I stayed in anyway. So yeah, that was definitely an embarrassing moment in front of everyone, innit? Do you know what I mean? It's just like silly. What would you all do in the villa when you get bored? Um, honestly, we didn't really get bored. It was go, go, go. It was that much drama that didn't even get shown. But I was good at just like stirring the pot because it just entertains me, do you know what I mean? So like if say Johnny and Jess, for example, were having a bit of an argument, and I found out the tea, I would go to Jess and be like, oh my God, if Johnny spoke to me like that, I would never take it. I would go over there right now if I was you and just literally go at him. And that's what I would do to everyone, just to make sure that it's just fucking drama, innit? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Entertain myself and I just sit back there and watch it unfold. It's easy. All right, question one million, I think it is. What's happening with you and Deb? So, I guess not really much to say other than, you know, we're getting married early next year. Um, and we got a little one in the oven, isn't it? So, other than that, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory, isn't it? We're head over heels, um, and yeah. <laughs> joking, very joking. Nah, Deb, Deb's a good, good girl. Um, we're just, yeah, just, she lives in the States, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I, I live, like, the other side of the world, so, I mean, it's not really an excuse, but we're just taking as it comes, you know, whatever happens, happens, but I'm not really pursuing, like, romantic connections. I'm too busy um, making sure my hair looks good. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're right. I should probably answer this one seriously as well, to be fair, let's be honest. Um, yeah, obviously, Deb and I were only in there together for, like, a week, so our connection wasn't as strong as the rest of them, so... Moving forward, you know, we still text on the reg, um, you know, and I, when I go over to the States, I'm sure we'll link up. Um, and she did mention something about coming to Australia on New Year's. So I guess we'll take it as it comes, no pressure. Um, but other than, other than that, we're not really, you know, labelled as anything. We never were, uh, we, we probably won't be, you know what I mean? But she is a cool chick. She matches my energy. She's absolutely fucking bananas, to be fair. Some of the stuff that she was doing in that villa, I wish she would saw it because she is absolutely crazy. She's as wild as a box of frogs. Two-stroke a polka, <laughs> back in the day, mate, red skids. Um, <laughs> I don't know, some of the things I say, I just say it on the spot, and then sometimes it rolls off the tongue that smoothly. I'm like, I will rinse that and repeat it, do you know what I mean? Because it's that good. 
Um, so in all honesty, I don't really know, but it just sounds like it would be mental, you know what I mean? So <laughs> two stroke of poker. I guess you can see it as a little like two stroke motorbike, quick, zippy, fucking erratic. <laughs> Are you and Deb official? Yeah, officially the coolest people to ever set foot in Love Island. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll wait. I'm waiting. Still waiting. Nah, I'm only joking. I would have fucking won otherwise, isn't it? Chat me. Stiff. Stiff. How did it feel going in and not really knowing anyone? Um, so yeah, when I rocked up, I could quickly tell that like everyone sort of knew everyone. And I was kind of thinking, fuck me, I don't know anyone here. I've never watched Love Island before, innit? So, um, yeah, I didn't even really unpack my suitcase fully the first couple of days. So I thought, I'm going to be out of here in two or three days. I can just sense it. Um, but I guess it was a blessing in disguise because obviously Johnny had like Sally, you know, Justine and Ray. And it was just like, everyone sort of had baggage because they knew each other. I had no baggage, you know what I mean? At some stages in there, I felt like I was at a fucking airport. There was that much baggage getting about. So it was a nice thing to go in there and not have any loyalties and just do whatever the fuck I want. Like a one-man army type of thing, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it just doesn't really matter to be fair. Do you ever hang out with a Love Island cast? Honestly, not as much as I'd like to because obviously life gets in the way. We're all busy. I'm double busy at the moment, so I don't really have much time. But I do spend time with Jordan a fair bit because he's done the Gold Coast. Um, but yeah, saying that, Mitch is coming up tonight. Tina's coming up tomorrow. Phoebe's coming up tomorrow. So like, we're going to have a little reunion in the Gold Coast this weekend. So any recommendations on where to go tonight in the Gold Coast, let me know down below. Don't be slow. I'm trying to think of more, but it's just not flowing today. The bars are not there, you know what I mean? A bit rusty. What other types of TV would you do beside Love Island? Um, I'm opening my horizons next year, and I'm going to be doing um, things I never thought I would be doing on TV, so that's going to be exciting. But I wouldn't mind jumping on uh, that uh, All on Techers, this bandwagon, and just talking about sport and stuff, because he's popping up everywhere in Sydney and that, doing sports, like chats and that. And I would love to do that with him, but I know fuck all about sport, so maybe I'll just link up with him and be his like mic man and just hold the microfo microphone for him while he talks about sport. <laughs> How's that sound, Giza? Let me know. <laughs> How does it feel being replaced with Justine by Jack? As Justine would say, it is crazy! I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Justine's bitch, she's beautiful and that, and the fact that they're having all this Thanksgiving and all the rest of it in America without me is, is killing me, right? Because he's just dropped me like a sack of spuds, to be honest. And I love Justine's bitch, don't get me wrong, she's beautiful, but she ain't no Welsh stallion, is she? Please, somebody knock some sense into the geezer. Because <laughs> that's just crazy. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, she is. Come on. The people have spoken. They want to meet you. What are you going to say, huh? She is a weapon. This is Bonnie, sausage dog. That's how they call them as well. She's an absolute rig. Look at her. Juiced up, looking like a stallion. Oh, she's got nothing to say. She's camera shy, innit? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you're happy now, y'all. Because y'all have been complaining that I ain't active enough on this. So this is me doing my part, being active. Um, I'm not really a social media fucking geezer, so it's, it's not my thing, innit? So I'm trying my best here to interact with you all. I might do one of these every week. I might even just drop a live in sometime this week. And just have a bit of a chit chat, have a bit of a yarn. But other than that, I'm off to the gym and I'm going to cruise down to the Gold Coast. So have a good weekend wherever you are. And thank you for the love and support. I don't know why I do this with my hands all the time. I need to literally sit on my hands like this. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Sit like that and then shot that. This is a speed down. I'm going to go away. This is fuck. <laughs> In a bit. His positive spirit and just love and light and just being hilarious brought so much joy to the villa. I don't have nothing negative to say about Colin. He did his thing. And so I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.